Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to grow red oak oak trees from acorn. So guys, this is going to be your end result right here. It's a beautiful sapling. So what we're going to do is go through all the steps, gather the seed process. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, for step one in growing a red oak from acorn, you're first going to have to gather your acorns. And where I'm at right now, this is a massive red oak. I don't know exactly what species it is, but I mean, this guy has to be you know, at least 200 years old. Absolutely insane trunk, beautiful height, beautiful size. You know, it's absolutely a beautiful tree. But quick thing, how I know it's a red oak is you can look at the leaves and how they have these points in the tips. That's a trait of a red oak. White oaks will have rounded tops, and rounded tips. And all on the ground, guys, I find in these acorns, another clear sign that it's an oak but red oaks drop their acorns in the fall time and right now we're in late september so it isn't really fall yet but we're getting there and you know it, it, there's littering these acorns all over the ground and that's because the trees the red oaks have to go through stratification which is a period of you know cold a cold period in order for the trees to the seeds to grow into you know mature trees not all trees need this white oaks do not that's the, the big difference between white oaks and red oaks and it's just a characteristic and that's how you can identify trees and you know the type of seeds they're dropping and when uh, to figure out if they need to go through stratification or not because if you see a tree dropping its acorns you know whatever it is during the fall time then that means it has to go through stratification so now that I have you know a couple acorns gathered I put a bunch of them in a cup you know take these home and show you guys the next step Okay guys, now that we have collected our acorns from our red oak tree, and these acorns are actually a shamard oak tree. So I did some research guys, and you know, after a couple little searches, I figured it out. But now what we're going to do guys is the water test, and this is going to test which acorns are bad from the batch, and which acorns are good. This is real simple guys, all you got to do is pour the acorns into a bowl of water, and all the acorns that end up floating are going to be acorns that are bad. They either have larvae growing in them, or you know, they're just moldy on the inside, or they get an air pocket inside. Now, some of the acorns that float can actually still be good and still germinate, and I'll actually show you guys an example of that. This is an acorn that ended up floating, but I cracked it open. As you guys can see, it's actually green in there. It looked like a perfectly healthy nut. Um, but it may have had, you know, a mold problem or something I couldn't see. That's why it floats. But um, that being said, guys, depending on what you want to do, if you're trying to plant for accuracy and you only plant a couple oaks, then you're definitely only going to want to plant the ones that sink at the bottom. But if you're going to be planting a large amount and just spreading them out in the soil, then it's really not going to be a big deal. You could spread all of them. Then you wouldn't have to do this test. But guys, as you can see, out of, I'd say, you know, around 100 acorns, it looks like we only got around, you know, 15 acorns that sank. And these are going to be healthy red oak acorns. So now, guys, after doing this, we're going to move on to the next step. And that is going to be putting these acorns through stratification. So, guys, unfortunately, I ended up losing the footage for the step of how to stratify your red oak acorns. But it's real simple, so I'll just fill you in. So what you're going to do after you do the water test is simply take your acorns and either do indoor stratification with a plastic bag or outdoor stratification. So all you're gonna do is take your acorns and put them in a bag of moist dirt and put it in the fridge for around five months until you until it's either springtime or you start seeing them root in the bag. Now in the next clip you'll see mine actually started rooting in the bag so I knew it was time to plant them. But or you could do outdoor stratification. So you just take your red oak acorn and put it and bury it into a little pot, leave it outside, you know, put it in a corner and let it just go through the winter period outside and the thing with outdoor stratification is squirrels will dig these up in the springtime. I mean, they can smell them so they know where they're at. So it's, it, is, it is important to either put some mesh over it and protect it or, you know, do indoor stratification. But that's a real simple step. But after you do that, we're going to move into the next clip, which is after the stratification has taken place. All right, guys, it is early spring. And so the seeds have gone through enough time through stratification. As we can see, guys, I got a couple sprouts poking through in our bag. So we know that our red oaks are ready to be planted. So now that it's springtime, guys, and we have gone through stratification, what I'm going to do is very carefully open my bag up and pull out one of my red oak acorns. And as you guys can see right there, they already got a nice root, it's already forming a sprout, and the acorn is actually right here. So what we're going to do, guys, is actually go ahead and pot these, because these have gone through stratification, they are ready to be sprouted into the young red oak seedlings. So what we're going to do is just simply, I got nice potting soil mixed in with my native soil out here in Tennessee, which is clay. 
And then I added in some humus, which is some organic material that's been broken down. And very carefully, guys, with this white root, it is very sensitive, you know, mostly water, so you don't want it to snap. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in. And we can actually see right here, it's got some white hairs growing, which is good. Those are the nutrient roots. We're going to put this in very carefully. Really, really, really try and be as careful as possible because we do not want all this time and energy that has gone into growing these red oak seedlings to be for a waste and just for the root to snap or the nice little growth to snap off at the top. So there we go guys, that is what this one is going to look like. So I'm going to go through all of my acorns in here. All of my acorns in here should be nice and healthy. And just because they aren't sprouting just like that one doesn't mean they aren't ready to be rooted. Here's another good example of one that's already rooted in the bag. Because honestly guys, you do want it to root a little bit while it's in the bag and while it's going through stratification. But once it is time to plant them, you don't want them to be sprouting already like that one. So this is actually perfect. This is ideal what you're going for. So as you get closer and closer to the springtime, guys, that's when you need to be monitoring your seedlings, especially if you're doing indoor stratification, and make sure and see if they already are rooting or if they're sprouting or whatnot and what's going on with them. Because, guys, like I said, um, if, you, if it does start sprouting in the bag, that can be a little hectic and you, it's very easy to damage them, and that is not the best case scenario. So it is always good to keep a good eye on your seedlings and make sure. And just because it, you know, it is springtime here finally and the weather is getting nice doesn't mean that the acorns haven't gone through enough time and they already aren't starting to root and sprout in your bag. So I got quite a few acorns in here, guys. So I'm just going to go through and select the ones that look the healthiest, ones that got the roots coming, just like this one right here. This one's also sprouting. And go ahead and start planting these, guys. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plant, finish planting the rest of these guys, and then I'm going to show you an updated clip in a couple weeks to show you how these seedlings are doing. And that should wrap up this series. So guys, another important step I want to add in after transplanting our red oak acorns into the pots is you definitely want to make sure you water them, especially the ones that have the little sprouts on them because they are going to be going from, you know, being nice and moist into, you know, soil that may not necessarily be as moist as the bag it was in after stratification. So you definitely want to make sure you go ahead and give these guys a nice thorough watering just to ensure that they transplant correctly and properly and you know you don't want them to die off especially as far into the process so what i'm going to do is go ahead and overwater all these just to make sure they get truly soaked and the soil is really really wet just because i definitely don't want to lose my saplings but other than that guys i'm going to show you guys the next clip which is going to be once these actually sprout out and we have our young red oak saplings so guys, this is the final product in growing your red oak oak trees from acorn. Now these are over a month old. I had to delete some older footage. It wasn't as good. But you should start seeing some sprouts from the trees after around, you know, a week and a half to two weeks. And then after that, you should see some leaves starting to form. So if you're not, um, you know, waited out a little bit longer, but at the latest, I'd probably say two and a half weeks. You definitely should see some sprouts and some leaf growth after that. But these are these are looking amazing, guys. This is, of course, what you want to see. This is a prime example of you know following all the steps correctly and having a beautiful young tree. So now I'm going to nurture this and then eventually transplant it into a larger pod and you know keep it growing and eventually have a great large oak tree. So I hope today's video is beneficial, guys. I wish all of you the best of luck. I hope you know you follow the tips and it really helps you out. But other than that, I'm going to catch you in the next video.